Okay, welcome back. In our last episode, we created the div tags for the branding tag and main content, but we haven't set the rules for them, so we're about to do that now. We put our cursor someplace inside the branding tag, select the tag, at the bottom left, select the tag, make the rule. Select the tag, make the rule. We're going to basically make a branding tag rule that is 150 pixels high. 150 pixels high by I want to put some padding here, so I'm going to put in 10 pixels of padding. Now, if I hit the apply option, this is no longer 150 pixels high. This is 170 pixels high because it took 10 from the top and 10 from the bottom. I want to keep at 150 pixels, so I minus 20. Minus 20 gives me my original 150 pixels. This is now 150 pixels high. Now, what I want to do with this image specifically, I'm going to create a rule specifically for this tag, for this particular image. So I'm going to select the tag. Don't just select the image, select the tag. Select the tag, make a rule. Select the tag, make a rule. Now pay close attention here because Dreamweaver is not going to protect you from making mistakes. You're the intelligent one. The software is the stupid one. You have to be on top of your game. So we don't want to make image tag inside of the P for paragraph tag. We just want to make an image tag rule inside of branding. We don't want it to be specific for a paragraph. Therefore, if we put it inside the header tag, it wouldn't apply. We're just going to make an image tag rule, a correct vocabulary rule for the branding tag. And I hit OK. So I'm going to go to box and float the image tag, image tag here to the left. By floating to the left, content goes to its right. Floating to the left, content goes to its right. We're going to basically space it to the right, 1.5 M spaces. M spaces to the right. Now, if that's if that's too much, we can make it 1.1 M space and hit the apply option, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So now this image is floating to the left. Its content goes to the right. Hit OK. Make a change. Save a change. Make a change. Save a change. Now, we're going to do the same thing from in content, but we need to leave room for the site nav. The site nav is going to be 150 pixels wide. So we're going to go to main content, select the tag, make a rule. Select the tag, make a rule. So main content is going to be, let's figure this out. The div tag for the wrapper is 900 pixels. So we're going to say 900 pixels minus the site nav, which we haven't put in yet, but we're going to. It's going to be 150 pixels high. Therefore, it's going to start out at 750 pixels. 750 pixels wide and the height is going to be the height up the wrapper tag, which was 650 minus 150. Okay, so we're going to put in here 30 pixels of padding. 30 pixels of padding means that we need to subtract 60 with, and we need to subtract 60 from the height. So there's our padding. Now we need to float this to the left. Now, that's going to sound confusing because there's no, there's no site nav here. Now, if it's less confusing for now, we can technically float this to the right. So just so it's less confusing for you guys, we'll float this to the right. So this floats to the right, leaves the site nav to the left. Okay, make a change, save a change. Now I can create a rule specific for main content. Now, another thing I can do is I can set the image tag rule for the entire site. I can do that by simply going to the tag and basically typing in IMG. A solo tag is going to basically do the rule for the entire site. It becomes the parent tag for the entire site. So we're going to say whenever we have images inside of our site, we want them to float to the left with 1.1 M spaces to the right. Therefore, these automatically get affected. I'm going to just delete this one here for a second. So these get affected automatically. Delete some of this content here so this fits in here. Okay. So these images are going to float to the left because the image tag rule is floating to the left. This is going to go up here after the H1 tag. Make a change. Save a change. Now, if you've been paying attention to us here, when we put this content, we had content to select to wrap it inside the branding tag. We put this content by wrapping inside the 
branding tag. For site nav, there's nothing to select. There's no content. So how do we insert a div tag? Well, we insert a div tag from the insert div tag icon. Then, very important step here, based on these choices, I want to teach you something very valuable. Once you're in a dialog box, get to know the choices. It's in English, not Portuguese, not Greek. It's English. So based on these choices, these choices, we want to put the div tag. Well, we have a couple of choices. We can put the site nav after the branding tag, or we can put the site nav before the main content tag. Either way would suffice. So we're going to choose before main content. We're going to call this site nav. Now, if you were magically thinking that it was going to end up over here, that's not what we told it to do. We simply said put this between these before this tag. And if you look at your code for a second, you'll see that that's correct. This tag is before, this tag here is before main content. So that's correct. It did, the software did what you told it to do. Very important step here. Don't assume software is going to do, you, software might do something you, you thought it was going to do, but it didn't, but it only does what you tell it to do. So now we're going to create a rule. Notice it puts content here too. So we're going to put a rule for a site now. So select the tag. Make a rule, select the tag, make a rule, select the tag, make a rule. I want you to get that thinking into your head because that's going to help you to get good at Dreamweaver, to think Dreamweaver, think Dreamweaver. Just like if you learn in Spanish, think Spanish, think Dreamweaver. So I now go to box. This is going to be 150 pixels wide. And we're going to fill up the remaining space. So the remaining space was the height of the Wrapper tag was 650 minus the branding tag was 150. So this is going to be 150 by 10. We're going to put in 10 pixels of padding. So I need to minus 20 and minus 20. We're going to float this to the left. Floating to the left, content goes to the right. By floating this to the left, the content goes to the right. So now we're going to put in our navigation system about Hit the return key. I'm intentionally typing in over a case. I'll explain that in a second. About price products service and contact. Make a change, save a change. Okay, now I'm going to make a slight aesthetic change to make the visual here a little bit more appealing to get rid of the logo in the background. So we're going to double click wrapper and give this a simple background color of white. That's going to cover up the logo in the background. Therefore, it'll make the site look better. So this should say wrapper followed by branding, followed by site nav, followed by main content. Make a change, save a change. Good habit to get into. So now we're cooking here. Okay. Now let's say that I want this image not to float to the left, but I want the image to float to the right. Well, I do have a couple of choices here. I could choose to put this into a separate div tag and create a rule for the separate div tag to float this to the right. But that's a lot of hoop jump just to get that image to float to the right. So here's a better way. You always want to go with your base HTML tags first. Then you want to go with an HTML tag inside of that div tag. So as an example, this tag is different from this tag, which is different from this tag because they're inside of different divs. So I can talk to them differently. Again, think Dreamweaver. Okay, so we're going to select the tag, we're going to select the tag, and we're going to make a rule. Now, very important step here again, similar to the image tag, this is simply IMG, and it's less specific. Now, in the HTML world, there's IMG tag, which talks to images. There's no such thing as image 2, image 3, image 4, image 59. It doesn't exist, so we need to make a class tag, a custom tag that's going to talk to the image tag. Class tags begin with a period. Whenever you type something with a period inside your rules, it becomes a class tag. Class tags are also known as custom tags. So we're going to call this period. We're going to call this right 
I M G. Now, very important step here, very important vocabulary. Classes were assigned, then classes are defined. Right now, I'm going to assign the class, then the class will be, I'm sorry, right now I'm going to define the class. It's wait. I'm going to define the class and I'm going to assign it to something. So classes are defined and classes are assigned. So right now nothing's going to happen visually to the page until I assign it to something. So I'm going to hit OK. Then I'm going to go to box. Now the parent tag to this tag is the image tag. We're going to overwrite the parent tag's properties that floated to the left by floating this to the right. Now it's very important that you stay on top of your game here to understand and comprehend if this is floating to the right we want margin space to the left. Now, important step here. The parent tag floating to the left had margin space to the right. I don't want this to have margin space to the right. So you have to be smarter than Dreamweaver. You have to think Dreamweaver and put in zero. Zero is a value. Don't confuse zero with nothing. So I know you can go home and tell your friends and family and kids after you saw today's video, you now understand the difference between nothing and zero. Eureka. Anyway, so this is set to zero because I need to override the parent tag settings. So I hit the apply option. Now again, nothing's going to happen because why? Because classes are defined, then classes are assigned. So I'm not just going to select the image tag. I'm going to select the tag. I'm not going to just select image. I'm going to select the tag in the property palette, go to the class called write image. Now what comes down here on the class menu? Not div tags, not HTML tags, only class tags. The name of the class tag is called write image. Notice it's not called period write image. Period is how we define the class. Now we're going to assign the class. So this was the right. By default, inside of this rule, images float to the left, but in this particular case, this floats to the right. This should go down here in the main content section. Make a change, save a change. 